Two young children, a boy and a girl, hold a sign that reads Bring Our Mom Back. This painting, called simply Immigration, is the work of an 18-year-old Dominic Cacuza and has already made its way to the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. In 2019, Cacuza won in the annual art competition organized by the U.S. Congress. I concentrated on the United States immigration crisis and that was something that I felt deserved um, an empathetic, empathetic and legal solution. So when I saw kids that, you know, looked like me when I was younger, you know, behind cages and in bars and stuff, it was really jaw-dropping that that was even a, an issue that even had to be discussed. I, didn't, I couldn't believe that that was a thing that was happening. Kakuza says his work was inspired by the family separation policy executed at the U.S.-Mexican border. His works did not go unnoticed. A Virginia congressman, Don Bayer, noticed the paintings. And suddenly, the basement of Kakuza's parents' home, where the young man worked, was filled with journalists. It's supposed to be um, a representation of the, the, the sadness that these kids were feeling. It was really an emotional painting that I wanted to portray. Dominic and his sister were born in Guatemala, but were adopted by an American family when they were still infants. Today, the young artists live in Arlington, just a few kilometers away from the U.S. capital. But despite all that, he never forgets about where he came from. It's a, a model of my family. Um, I live in a primarily white community, so for me that was my personal difference in and so I have my sister and me who were adopted from Guatemala as infants painted a different color than the rest of the rocks. And these rocks are supposed to represent different families in their communities. And then the water represents how communities are always changing and ever the same. This painting also won in a competition held by the Smithsonian and was exhibited at the Hirschhorn Museum in downtown D.C. For many years now, seasoned artist Gavin Glaikas has been Dominic's mentor. He's a very impressive young man, and he has that combination of um, real drive uh, to learn and improve and further his talent level. It'll be fascinating to see where he goes with um, his work and career. He's obviously interested in those issues. Dominic has been painting since he was small. When he just started school, he was already invited to take part in local exhibits. That was an indication that it wasn't just his mom thinking he had some talent. There were other people saying, we'd like to take his work and show it in the county. And after a couple of years of that, I approached the school and said, do you think that he may be gifted in visual arts? And they said, we think so. Why don't you fill out the application and we'll go through the formal process. In the fall of 2020, Dominic Cacuza will start his education at the Rhode Island School of Design, one of the oldest art schools in the country. Maxim Moskalko for VOA News, Arlington, Virginia.